In this video, a 60-year-old man was diagnosed last year with adenocarcinoma of the lung. He underwent right lower lobectomy. So first of all, this patient had a lung cancer. Lung cancer. For the past three weeks, he has had increasing malaise. So previously, it was last year when he had lung cancer, and it's been a year, and for the past three, three weeks, he has had increasing malaise. On physical exam, he has pitting edema, so pitting edema, to his knees and presacral edema, abdominal and chest CT scan showed scattered hepatic mass, so there is hepatic mass. He had lung cancer, now he has hepatic mass. Lesions and hyalur lymphadenopathy, hyalur lymphadenopathy. A urine analysis reveals four pro plus proteinuria, so there is proteinuria. And his 24-hour urine protein is 2.7 gram. His serum urea nitrogen is 55. So urea is 55 with creatinine 6.1. A renal biopsy is performed and there is focal deposition of IgG. So this is the biopsy of renal. There is IgG and C3 with granular pattern. Which of the following forms of glomerular disease he most likely to have? So what kind of what kind of glomerular disease? What kind of kidney disease is he going to is he going to have? So we know that uh, liver disease or lung disease or lung cancer or liver cancer, these cancers or cancers in general can give rise to MGN. Okay? That's one of the things. Colon cancer or lung cancer and liver cancer can give rise to MGN. And let's see if it matches our uh, vignette here. This patient had proteinuria 4 plus, bun and creatinine are both high, and renal biopsy shows deposition of IgG C3. And uh, in MGN, there is going to be nephrotic syndrome, which is taken care of here. There is dense deposits, subendothelial. The dense deposits are made up of IgG and C3. And bun and creatinine are increased because it's a renal disease. So this is clear that this question is going to be choice A, MGN.